and that spanked away short and four. So Sewag, in typical fashion, gets off the mark with a boundary. He's got to be pretty cautious, though. Punched away again. Another chase. And this time it's futile. Collins has some work to do, and he can't get there as quick as he is. Morning, Jeremy. Another boundary is struck. And there's an effort, that last one, to try and get it up there, and he's got two full. Another boundary. Wow, three in the over. India racing away, 39 without loss. That is absolutely hammered by Sewag. Problems here for Lara. Problems of the Verinda Sewag kind. Seventh boundary and 26 balls he's faced. A bit of width. And he's just come down from high on top of the ball. Could be four as well. And it is for boundary number eight for Sewag. 58 without loss. That's gone a long way down towards the boundary. How many? The umpire wants to have a look. If it is six, it'll be 50 to Sewag. Big strike of the ball. Giving him width outside off stump, I think, is one of the most dangerous things you do to Sewag because he sets himself up. It's been signaled six now by uh, Simon Torfel, so that's 50. That has raced past the right hand of Darren Ganga. Ganga just had... A quick look out, glance out of the corner of his eye, and it was gone. Again, it's width. This is short as well, but it's width outside that off stump. He's perfectly set up for that. Sewag is a batsman who has trouble when the ball is close to him, particularly when it bounces, but when it's close to him. He is on fire. He really is. He is taking this apart here, yeah, this West Indies attack, with a sense of brutality. Well, this is a stroke, because this has been brought in a little closer by Bravo. See, just on about off stump there. Maybe just outside, he just swung through the line. Doesn't worry him about hitting the ball in the air. So, it's quite simply, just very difficult to bowl to right now. Many more. It's gone for six. 21 of the over. 79 without loss. Wayne Bravo has been taken apart by Verinda Sewag. Hit for 21 off his second over. The culmination of that over. A fantastic six down the ground. In the air, and that might be four. It will. Sewe goes to 70 of 44 deliveries. And that's where he likes them. He doesn't have to move his feet. Magnificent. You do not get sick and tired of watching a guy when he's in form like this. Verinda Sewag at his best. And crash, bang, boom. Sewag, I don't know what he's had for breakfast, but I wouldn't mind some of it. Well, he's decided to take Dwayne Bravo on as Sewag. Both very competitive individuals and probably had a bit to say to each other in the series so far. Ashton over. He does that intentionally at times, just opening the face of the bat, gets himself to 97. There was a sense that Sewag almost adjusted at the last moment and meant to hit it up. Well, he's gone for it. 
but will just get the single out. Oh, it could have been a direct hit. There was an opportunity, there was an overthrow, the ball going to deep fine leg. But we're in the Seba get overrun it and he looks very disappointed. Can he get a one? He can. His 12th test 100 for Verinder Sehwag and one that will re be remembered for a very long time for the few spectators who are here, there are not many of them, would be perhaps a, a thousand or thereabouts and I'm sure for those watching on television as well. It's been a tremendous innings by an entertainer, Verinder Sehwag.